Hi, everybody. So I'm Chris Kent. I'm out of Knoxville, Tennessee now. Woo! As of one week. And uh, there's all that stuff. So let's take a look at some uh, formatting stuff. So go to our classic Warrior Horses site, right? On the Warrior Horses site, right, I've applied several different kinds of formatting. I'm a horse. I come in here. Right, I've got this new status column. It's very generic here, but I want to apply a format to it. All right. So I've seen a couple things on the call. So I come in here, I go to column settings, and I format this column. I get a nice design mode thing, but I see this advanced mode, and I click on it, and it tells me to paste some JSON in here, right? So I want to find some. So I'm over here in the sample repo, and I'm looking at my groupings, and I've got my categories, and I've got a status column. So maybe I jump down to status or progress. All right, I got a bunch of different options. I find this one, text conditional format. I can see it. It happens to be very conveniently my values. How did that happen? Right, so I want to grab this. So it's pretty cool. I just click on the JSON file. All right, and then I can, without having to do anything crazy with GitHub, I copy this. And I'm going to literally copy that, and then I'm going to go back. I'm going to paste that sucker in here. And when I preview that, wow, it worked. And that's great. And that's magic. And if that's all you need to do, well, then there you go. You don't ever need to know what all this stuff is. But what happens if, say, instead of done, you know, our our status is the word completed, right? Or instead of has issues, it's uh, done be broke or something like that, right? So now I've got to actually look in this craziness here, right? So now I've got to understand this a little more. Like, what is this JSON stuff I've just pasted in here? And how do I start editing it? And how do I make changes so that when I do something, right, I'm like, I don't need that colon. It tells me valid, ah! I cry and I, I scream, or nay, as in this case, right? So let's take a look at some of this stuff. So if I come over here, we'll jump to our slides. So who is Jason? What is he doing? What do we need to know about him? So we're going to do a very quick Jason syntax crash course. All right, so let's take a look. So the whole idea is this object, right? It's just text. You can write it in Notepad. You can write it in that tiny window. You can write it in VS Code, which I recommend, right? But all it is is name value pairs, right? So you got a name and you got a value. That's it, all right? So objects begin with these squigglies here. There's a squiggly and a squiggly. I'm sure that's the official term. All right, and then each name has got this little colon between it. So you got your name and your value, and you put a little colon in there, all right? And then if you got more than one of those, and it doesn't matter the order, you just put a comma between them. Pretty straightforward. Again, you can write this right there in that window. Now you can get a little more advanced, right? You can start to get things like an array. So an array is ordered, and you can tell it's ordered because it's got this more boring bracket, right? It's not got that cool squiggly. It's all square, and so the order matters. And you can put a bunch of stuff inside there, right, with more squigglies and more name value pairs, and you can keep drawing on the slides. I've just discovered Zoom it. It's very exciting. All right, so arrays begin with those square brackets. The values, again, are separated by that comma. And then a value can be anything, right? Almost, right? It can be an array like up here, right? We got an array. It can be, you know, a direct quote here or a direct string within quotes, right? You can put a number. You can put true or false like in the debug mode. Or you can put whole objects inside here like in style. Woo! So now everybody here knows JSON. Perfect. So how does that actually apply to list formatting, right? So, okay, we get the basics here, but how do I translate into that into making my pretty stuff? Or with my icons and my colors and all that. But let's take a look. So here is a very exciting format, right? Here's a real format. We we'll grab it, and this is what it's going to do. So if you've got a value like a text column or a choice, and the value is Y is polar bear, if you apply this formatting, that's what you'll get. All right, that's what it's going to look like. If you kind of take a look at it, it's broken down into three elements, right? We've got a big div, and we've got a couple of spans. And this is the actual HTML that's going to be generated under the scenes. So what's important to know is that we're going to take one text format and we're going to generate another text format of html and that for the browser is going to draw some things right so you can think of this list formatting json as just an html generator right which may or may not help you um, it helps me quite a bit when i think about it that way and i often draw things out like this on a piece of paper uh, before i get into all the squigglies and everything else right because this is a pretty simple one but you can imagine you get a lot of lines in some of these so let's jump in here so the first thing is you'll see this schema and all the samples and you'll see it all over the place. It's completely optional. So it's really helpful if you're going to edit this in something like say VS code or the column format or anything else, because then it'll provide IntelliSense. Um, just cut and paste that thing in there, uh, but it's not required in any way. Um, 
So I often leave it out when I'm just experimenting. So the first thing you'll see, and this is always required, is this Elm type, right? And if we look at that Elm, the visualization here, right? Um, you can see I've just got three boxes, right? I got the big box, I got the two little boxes here, and you can see I've got an Elm here, Elm type, Elm type here, and an Elm type here, right? So every Elm type you see, each object is going to have a, basically a box it's going to draw. So I got my first one, a div, because I just want to hold some stuff. Right, and then I've got this attribute, right, where I want to apply a class. So I've got SP dash field dash severity dash dash severe warning, which really just means give me a pink background. So great naming convention, but there you go, right? Pink background, and you can see it actually just adds that class, SP field severity severe warning right here. All right, there's a whole series of classes you can add. Um, you can check those out, but then you just slap them in there. And then I've got my children, right? So I wanted to break this up a little bit because I wanted an icon, I wanted some text. So I have this children, and I'm just going to slap more of these objects in there. All right, so the first one, I've got a span, and I've split this into two spans, so I can have an icon and I can have text, but I wanted to control the spacing between them. That's why I've done two of these, all right? Now, if I apply this attribute icon name, right, there's a whole series of attributes, but this icon name, all it's going to do is allow me to pick from 1,000 plus UI fabric icons, and it's case sensitive, but I slap that in there, and I can do a an icon. In this case, I've chosen the warning icon, which looks like a, a triangle with an exclamation point. Uh, but if I want to do that conditionally, I can do all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. And I want to make sure that it's not right up against the edge, right? So I really wanted to make sure that, you know, especially with my background color, I had a little spacing. So I do this padding left. It's just a CSS attribute, right? Of four pixels. And then I want to put my text here. In this case, I've got another span. But I have my first kind of magic text here, my placeholder field. So I've got my at current field, and that just means whatever the value is, whether it's a text, it's a number, it's even a calculated value, right? I could slap that in there. If I wanted to reference another column from the view, I could certainly do that, right? Or if I wanted to write a complex expression, I could do that. But there's a series of these placeholder tokens. There's things like at me, which is the current user's email address, or at now, it's the current date and time at render and so on, right? So I can just put that in there, and I know that when it renders, for each one of these rows, it's going to swap that out and put whatever the value is in there. In this case, it's wise polar bear. Right? And again, I wanted some padding here. I wanted those four pixels of padding. All right, and you can see all of this time, all of this, which looks kind of complex if you're looking at it for the first time, is just generating this HTML down here, which then generates this pretty image up here, OK? Now everybody understands JSON perfectly, and they can go write all they need to. Good. OK, so check out the full documentation on all of the things that are available to you in column formatting and view formatting. You go to spdev-column formatting on the AKMS there. Um, if you wanted to see that specific sample, it's the text conditional format. But again, we've got nearly 100 samples in there um, to do all sorts of things. And I highly recommend starting with the samples and then tweaking from there. So, right, so you don't necessarily have to start with all that JSON syntax we just went through. Uh, but the idea is it's not near as scary as you think. And if you've got specific questions about JSON in general, right, you can go to json.org and check out some of the examples um, and understand some of that format and everything there. Um, and that's about it. That's everything I got. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. These are really, really useful as well because the, the basics of getting started is insanely important to get covered and so that people can actually get unblocked on using these things. So really, really, really great stuff.